how to look for the remainder in dividing polynomials the easier way. Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss remainder theorem and at the same time factor theorem. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng remainder theorem? The remainder theorem states that if a polynomial p of x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus r, the remainder of that division is equal to p of r. On the other hand, when we say factor theorem, if a polynomial p of x is divided by a linear polynomial x minus r and the remainder is 0, this means that p of r is equal to 0. We can say that x minus r is a factor of the given polynomial p of x. So, para mas maunawaan, let's have our first example. What is the remainder when p of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 2x minus 15 is divided by x minus 2. Okay, so, para makuha natin yung remainder ng problem number 1, usually, ang gagawin natin would be, we're going to perform long division or synthetic division. So, ito yung sagot niya kung gagamitan natin ng long division at synthetic division. So, using the two process, we can come up with the remainder which is equal to 13. Now, we're going to use the remainder theorem para mas makuha natin or mas madali natin ma-determine kung ano yung remainder ng ating uh, given problem. So, ano ba yung gagawin natin? First, we need to equate our divisor into 0. So, yung x minus 2, equate natin sa 0. Then, we're going to solve for x. Okay. So, transpose lang natin si negative 2 sa right side ng equation. Then, we're going to have positive 2. Okay. So, given yung dividend natin na P of X is equal to 3X cubed plus 2X minus 15, gagamitin natin yung value ng uh, X para i-substitute sa ating given polynomial. So, magiging P of 2. Okay. I-evaluate natin yung given polynomial. So, yung 2, isa-substitute natin sa lahat ng variable x. So, we have 3, yung x, papalitan natin ng positive 2. Then, cube plus 2. Yung x, again, papalitan ng 2. So, we have 2. Then, bring down negative 15 or minus 15. And after that one, we're going to simplify and perform the operations. So, unahin muna natin itong... Uh, exponent. So, we have 3 times 2 cube. So, that is 2 times 2 times 2. So, you will have 8. Plus, 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. Then, bring down minus 15 or negative 15. 3 times 8, that is equal to uh, 24. Then, uh, plus 4 minus 15. Okay, combine natin sila lahat. So, 24 plus 4, that is equal to 28. 28 minus 15, that is equal to 13. So, same lang yung nakuha natin na remainder na 13. Gamit ang remainder theorem, long division, or synthetic division. So, it would be better if we're going to use uh, remainder theorem pag uh, yung binigay na divisor is binomial at the same time linear. Now, how about the factor theorem? According sa factor theorem, pag ang remainder natin ay equal to 0, yung divisor natin ay factor ng given uh, dividend. Pero, pag hindi naman 0, yung magiging remainder natin, automatic, yung given divisor natin is not a factor of our given dividend. Okay. So, kung titignan natin, ang remainder natin is 13, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is not a factor of 
3x squared plus 2x minus 15. Next example. Is x minus 3 a factor of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3? So again, para malaman natin kung factor ba yung uh, divisor natin sa given na polynomial, gagamitin natin yung remainder theorem. So yung first step ng remainder theorem, we're going to equate the divisor to 0, then solve for x. So yung x minus 3 equates to 0, then we're going to transpose negative 3, kaya magiging positive na siya. So x is equal to 3. Now, let's check what is P of 3. So, yung P of X natin na 2X squared minus 5X minus 3. Titignan natin kung yung P of 3 ba is magiging equal to 0. Okay. So, gamit ang remainder theorem, we're going to uh, substitute 3 sa values ng X or variable X. So, we have 2 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 minus 3. Okay. So, again, ito na yung remainder theorem. So, remainder theorem mo na kung ano yung magiging result would be our basis para ma, uh, ma-determine kung factor ba siya or hindi. Then, perform the operations. So, 2. Nahin mo natin yung exponent. 3 squared is equal to 9. Minus 5 times 3 is equal to 15 minus 3. Okay, simplify further. You will have 2 times 9 that is equal to 18 minus 15 minus 3. Okay, all in all we have 18 minus 15 that is positive 3. Positive 3 minus 3 that is equal to 0. So, the remainder of dividing 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 by x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, 0 yung remainder niya. Now, based sa factor theorem natin, pag 0 yung remainder, automatic yung divisor would be a factor of our given polynomial. Therefore, ang answer natin sa sagot na uh, is x minus 3 a factor of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is yes. Okay? So therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Now down with our last example. So determine if x minus 5 is a factor of p of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared minus 3x minus 3. So, para ma-determine natin kung factor ba siya o hindi, gagamitin natin yung remainder theorem. Okay. So, first, the, we're going to equate the divisor to 0. So, x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then, solve for x. So, transpose natin sa yung si negative 5. Kaya, si negative 5 ay magiging equal to positive 5. Okay. So, we're going to solve now P of 5. So, 2x cubed minus 9x squared minus 3x minus 3. So, simple lang. Kailangan lang natin i-substitute sa 5 sa lahat ng values ng x. So, we have 2 times 5 cubed minus 9 times 5 squared, 3 times 5, minus 3. Okay. Continue. So, unahin mo natin yung mga may exponents. So, bring down mo na yung 2. 5 cube. So, 5 cube, that is equal to 5 times 5 times 5. So, that is equal to 125. Minus 9. 5 squared is equal to 25. Minus 3 times 5, you have 15, then minus 3. P of 5. Now, pwede na siyang isolve right away. Pwede nyo isa-isahin para hindi kayo malito. So, 2 times 125, that is uh, 
10, 5, and 2. So, 250. Then, 9 times, or negative 9 times 25. So, we have 9 times 5, 45, 4, 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 4, that is 22. Then, negative 5 minus 3, that is negative 18. And, finally, we have 250 minus 225, that is equal to 25. 25 minus 18, that is equal to 7. Therefore, yung remainder natin is equal to 7. Now, since yung remainder natin is equal to 0, we can say that x minus 5 is not a factor of p of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x minus 3x minus 3. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.